In this Did You Know segment, we're going to take a look at the materials and technology used in Corvette body panels. Corvettes use of advanced materials began in 1953 with the first Corvettes built using all fiberglass body panels. Being a lightweight and rust-proof composite material, fiberglass was first considered for use on a GM vehicle by legendary designer Harley Earl. While having an undeniable weight advantage, fiberglass offered an economical way to create the low-volume Corvette without the expense of large sheet metal stamping dies. Body panel technology advanced to a press mold process by the third generation Corvette in 1968. This laid the groundwork for a change in body panel materials in 1973 from conventional fiberglass to a sheet molded composite or SMC. The SMC was composed of fiberglass, resin and a catalyst formed under high heat and pressure. The new lighter material helped produce panels that were smoother right out of the mold resulting in higher quality paint finishes. While the material composition has changed dramatically over time, all Corvettes since 1973 have used SMC body panels featuring less traditional fiberglass and more lightweight plastic. The SMC is denser, stronger, and more flexible than conventional fiberglass. New advances in SMC technology throughout the 4th, 5th, and 6th generations allow the creation of thinner yet stronger body panels trimming Corvette's curb weight. The seventh generation Corvette's SMC advancements resulted in a weight savings of approximately 37 pounds over that of the C6. And with the introduction of a new TCA ultralight body panel material in the 2016 model year, GM has managed to shave off an additional 20 pounds of weight savings on the Stingray Coupe. According to Corvette Chief Engineer Taj Juncter, in materials engineering, shaving off a single pound per car is a significant accomplishment. So saving 20 pounds per car is monumental. And now you know. And that's a Corvette Minute.